Hello, it's Markham Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to show you an overview of the physical starlight and atmosphere add-on. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps up to date with my content. And let's start off. So I've already downloaded. I'm going to go edit preferences, find our add-on by clicking install. I go to my downloads. There it is. Install the add-on. Wham, bam. Thank you, man. Put in the tick. Let's close it. What I'm going to do now is go straight into render view. Okay. Very bland and so on and so forth. We've got the atmosphere add on here on the right hand side. And if you need to bring that up, you press the end button. Let's put a tick button next to physical atmosphere. Wow. And straight away, you can see this beautiful atmosphere coming in. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to delete this little light lamp because we don't need it. And we can control everything by this sun. So for instance, I can press R to rotate. And then I'm going to press Z so it rotates along the Z axis. And we can kind of spin it around our environment. Oh uh, my goodness. I can do R again to rotate. I can just press X so it goes along the X axis. And we can see it goes down. And we've got a wonderful sunrise. <laughs> cool bananas. Let's maybe do something a little bit more flash. So what I'm going to do is crack open a different scene. So here is a scene from an animated short film that I'm currently working on. So if you want to follow that, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And we can see that I've just got a single sun lamp controlling this environment. If I press numpad zero, we can see this is what it looks like inside. Let me just raise the camera up and we can see that the sky is, you know, fairly bland, nothing really spectacular. However, let's turn it on and let's see what we can do. So I'm going to turn on physical atmosphere and instantly we've now got a wonderful atmosphere plopping about. So being in orthographic view, we don't really see the background, but if I press numpad five, we can see the wonderful sun. So for instance, now I could do rotate Z around the sun and we can kind of change the whole layout of all the buildings. Where does, where's the light coming from? Let's go rotate XX. Now it's a bright sunny day and we can just see how much the interior changes now. Oops. Kind of look around and we can see that it just looks nice. It looks like a nice, wonderful environment. We can even go to nighttime. So I can go rotate on the X axis and we bring it down into night. And there we go. Now we've got a wonderful star field. Let me just turn on display, turn off display overlays. And now we've got a wonderful night sky. Wow. Let me get our sun back. Let's go rotate X. Sun come back. Rotate on the Z. Where are we? There we go. Nice high. What is that? 11 o'clock-ish. Beautiful. And obviously we've got a whole bunch of settings here. But I mean, this is just an amazing add-on without touching anything. Um, this is the sun physics, obviously changing the location. This is if we want to hide or put in the sun. And the really cool thing is if we butcher all these results, everything's got a reset button. I have not seen that in an add-on yet where you can just reset to the default settings. Um, you know, we got different intensities. I have no idea what that word is. I can't even say that. <laughs> but I mean, we can even work on the stars. Let's bring that back down and we can change the brightness of the, sun, the stars. We can change the ground offset. So if you want to go um, even lower, you don't really have that fall off or we can come straight to the top and really have that sharp horizon line. Oh my goodness. Amazing. <laughs> Once again, this is the physical starlight and atmosphere add on. Please go check it out on the blender market. And if there's any other blender add ons you want me to check out, please leave a comment in the description below.